What's up guys? It's Big Mac here once again. So I know that I haven't made any videos here in a couple months. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're just in the background. But anyways, I haven't made any videos in a while and I've had a good bit of content on my phone, but it's all mixed up and everything. I really don't feel like going through it. So I'm gonna start fresh from right now. So I'll give you a quick rundown of the things that we've done in the past couple of months. And um, uh, we'll start off by, um, I just got a box for um, from PLM. It's for the hatch. So it's intercooler, tuck radiator, fans and everything. The original plan was to have my fabricator make a custom intercooler and radiator setup, but time has been, uh, hasn't been on my side. I've been working a lot and haven't had time to order parts and I know he's been busy and I just don't want to miss an event um, because of uh, you know having to wait for him to make time and for me to make time. So I got the uh, PLM 800 horsepower um, uh, dual backdoor intercooler and the tuck radiator. It's a combo, fits together nicely. So um, if it turns out to not be enough or I don't like the quality, I'll just change out the intercooler at a later time, you know, after streetcar takeover, which is what I want to make it to. So I'm going to open them, check out the, um, check out the quality and then move on to going out to the garage and seeing where we're at so far. Cool. So here's the box. Um, turns out that in the purchase of an intercooler, you get a free cat. Um, all right, buddy. Yeah. 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 What you want? You want these hands? You want these hands? Mm. I didn't punch him, guys. Just please don't call Peter. Alright, cool. So let's open it up real quick. See what we're dealing with. Um. I was also looking at the uh, Steve Factory and uh, PLM. No, not PLM. Um, the other company. It starts with the K. KLM, I want to say. Uh, KLM was really backed up on orders. Um, so, and Speed Factory. Um, I, uh, I hit them up and they said they had a little bit of weight on their products. And I ordered this less than a week ago and came in so these are the two uh, uh, spall fans for the tuck radiator make sure we're nice and cool and this brings us to the intercooler it actually seems to be really nice quality to be honest with you and tanks look good the welds seem good um, it's not bad not bad at all. The uh, there's dual uh, three inch, three inch inlet, three inch outlet, dual back door. Um, since I'm going to be running the excessive pro center feed, um, so let me get this out and start looking at the radiator. Cool. So there's that, and this is the tucked radiator. They uh, it comes optional with uh, dash 16 fittings or the regular hose ends so here's this nice quad I mean I'm honestly for being I know people hate on PLM and you know say it's Chinese blah 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 but at the end of the day who cares if it's Chinese if it does the job and it's good quality but um radiator's nice I like it, it looks looks well built the welds are nice Hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's enough to keep it cool, but I really think it should. So, like I said, this is a combo, it comes together, and uh, what it is is this sits in front, and the radiator sits. Uh, which way is it? I want to say it's it's a little higher. Can't remember. I'd have to look at the picture and see how it goes mounted, but uh, could be wrong. But anyways, these work in, in unison. I want to say it's like that. 
I want to say that's how it goes, but um, definitely a nice setup. Not, not complain. I want to say it was like eight, eight hundred for, for the combo. I'm digging it though. So that does it for that. So let me give you a quick review on the fleet. Not a review, but an update on the fleet. How we're doing with everything. So we'll start off with the DD. The DD is my 2017 uh, Silverado bag body dropped 26s. Blah blah blah. She's old reliable. Um, I did paint the wheels here recently. It's a um, BMW uh, charcoal metallic in the middle with brushed aluminum wheels. Um, I actually have to replace that wheel bearing here pretty soon. Um, that's going to be interesting considering it's a 5 wheel conversion. So I'm going to see if I have to press everything out or um, to contact the original uh, builders of the truck and see if they can send me one that's already 5 wheel converted. Um, so following, come to Guac, aka Guacaflaca. Um, also, over reliable. Um, I did get a uh, flat tire here recently. So. Uh, or a blowout, not a flat tire, a blowout. So, need to get a new pair of front tires for it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be do. Sadly, I don't think I'm gonna be doing another uh, um, track day, like as far as circuit racing this year. Um, time just hasn't been on our side this year. So, I'm actually thinking about taking off the four piston Woolwoods, throwing stock GSR back brakes on there, and uh, doing a drag radio setup. Uh, with a small shot of nitrous to go out and have fun on the streets, but that'll be soon. Um, Erica's car, Erica's G8, um, again, old reliable, nothing really changed. We did new tires on it. Um, although we did pick up a set of drag radials, um, we did pick up a set of drag radials y'all saw in the other video uh, from where we went to the track. Um, there was no traction whatsoever, so we ended up picking up a set of Mickey Thompson uh, ET Street R's 305-4517. Make sure she hooks this time. So we're going to go out there again and see if we can get maybe into the 12.5s, 12.4s. I think that's pretty doable, still on stock stall and gearing. So that'll be the next thing. Erica and her awesome ass driving. But... Uh, Next, uh, next one is Erica's hatch. Erica's hatch, um, we put it back together, uh, took it to Dino. Uh, the car ended up making 510 at, uh, what was it, babe? 510 at 15 PSI? Sounds right. Yeah, something like that. 510 at 15 PSI, but the way I did the fuel system, it was starving the injectors for fuel, so I had to redo one line. Um, it's turned down to like 10 or 11 PSI right now. Um, uh, just to keep the injector duty cycle um, safe. So as soon as I make that line, it's gonna uh, go back to the dyno, make a couple of adjustments to make sure that it's gonna be happy living at um, 550 to 600 range. Um, we have, we've had a couple issues with it here uh, in the last couple weeks. Um, I ended up blowing the trans set, well, the second year. Yeah, uh, but so I ended up blowing the second gear um, right after we did the uh, uh, Moni So he did the up pipes, uh, fabricated the up pipes and everything. So yeah, that happened. So I pulled out the transmission, fixed it, um, went back from a 4.3 final drive to a 4.7, and um, car did great. I went out racing there a day, or not right? Well, yes, racing, but also <laughs> a maiden drive to see how everything was going. And uh, now there's a loud whine when the clutch pedal is out. So it leads me to believe that it's the clutch pet, I mean the throwout bearing or a faulty pressure plate. So it's my fault. I got to take the transmission out again, but it's my fault. I should have checked, you know, the parts that were visible from the get-go, but I was getting impatient and that's what happens when I get impatient. I'm very well known for my impatience. It's not like he does everything alone either. Yep. So I'm not looking forward to dropping the transmission. Um, another issue that we were having was the car was smoking a lot. So let me turn this around. So the car was smoking a lot. Um, the return line was uh, having oil getting pulled up through the back. So we moved the return line from the turbo up to the front. 
Um, it took away about 80% of the smoking. Uh, there's still some left, but it is a really old turbo that's probably had about seven years of abuse on it. Um, so that'll probably have to be sent off to re uh, get rebuilt here in the next few months. Um, the feed line has a leak where it goes into the T-fitting over here on this side. There's a leak from that. Um, and whenever I was doing the, trend, the oil pan, I must not clean the block fairly good enough. It has a leak from the oil pan on the back. So not big things at all, but definitely time consuming little things that, you know, shouldn't have happened in the first place. It was just, you know, when you get impatient, you get sloppy and, you know, it's just, you know, learn my lesson. So this will be transmission will probably be coming out next week. Um, and uh, check that and see how that goes. But um, yeah, you can close that. <laughs> but anyways, now to this, everybody has been asking me about this. I really didn't think this thing was gonna get as much attention and love as y'all have been showing. So quick update on the hatch. I got done building the motor. Motor's built, done, ready to go back in. Uh, CSS O-ring, uh, forged pistons, forged rods, um, built head, blah, blah. Um, waiting for the oil pan uh, to be ready from welding the bungs back on it on the front as well. Um, I have the transmission on the bench currently. Um, Wave track LSD, Gear X 4.0 final drive, Gear X first through fourth, uh, fresh synchros. Um, I'm having an issue with the uh, Speedo ring gear, which is this. Um, I think it's a little damaged, so it's not spinning freely once you put the speed sensor in. But hopefully this will be corrected here in the next couple days. Um, maybe tonight, actually. And then once that's ready, um, twin disc is ready to go back in. Motor will be mated. Hasport has my mounts on the way. They should be in here hopefully in a week. Um, they've been backed up like crazy. Um, I got axles for the front. I'm still waiting to get axles for the rear. Um, for the rear, control arms are in, diffs in, uh, everything rear-wise is done. I need to order tires for the CCWs to do the same tire all the way around. Uh, drive shaft uh, needs to be cut. I need to measure and send it off to get cut, but that'll be all um, in the next couple days. And uh, Moni, my tuner, fabricator, he got fuel cells done, but fuel cells, once the car makes it up to his shop, the fuel cells will be mocked and bolted up and fitting is made to where they need to go. Um, Streetcar takeover is on the 28th. I know I'm cutting it short. Hopefully we should be ready to go by then. Um, worst case, I'll take off a week off work. I'll do something, but I'm making it a streetcar takeover, you know? So um, everything as else is going pretty good. I'm going to try to upload at least a video every two weeks you know keeping it safe but um trying to get some wheels and tires for the air attack so we can go out and do a couple little street racing uh videos and everything out there but uh yeah um appreciate for everybody that stuck around i know i haven't been posting a lot but it's been hectic with business and this whole coronavirus thing so just keep up um, and uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button i'll see you on the next video